Hi. In this video, I am going to be talking about uh, the ECU, about uh, what it does, what its task. So let's look at this video, shall we? In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, the ECU, about the brain of the K-Egetronic. This is uh, an analog uh, control unit on the K-Egetronic. As we know, uh, K-E is uh, the mechanical injection and it has uh, several electronical components uh, that uh, make uh, the a mechanical part of the system run smoother, better, and uh, so on. You see, this unit has 25 pins here. You can see them. Each of uh, the of the pins has uh, its function and uh, some of uh, the sensors are located on uh, those uh, pins. But what's its purpose? The purpose of uh, the ECU is uh, to be between uh, two parts, so to speak, between uh, the sensors that uh, are going to provide uh, the ECU with uh, the information it needs and uh, the four components uh, that uh, receive the current, the, the signal in a form of a, a current. So let's see which sensors must be in a good shape. The first of those is the OVP, the Over Voltage Protection Relay. Well, it, its name uh, speaks for itself. You know, it's uh, it uh, has to diminish uh, the voltage uh, coming uh, from the battery. And, uh, and of course, uh, to make the engine run smooth. Let's say it like that. The next of uh, the sensors uh, in a row is uh, the CTS. The coolant temperature sensor, which has uh, to uh, provide uh, the information about uh, the, the uh, temperature of the engine. Now, we have then the potentiometer, the potentiometer has to tell the ECU where the position of the sensor plate is, where the sensor plate is located. Further, we have the TPS, the throttle position sensor. It has to, it has to report uh, the ECU if uh, the throttle is fully closed or fully open. We have uh, the micro switch. Which has to report uh, the ECU if the throttle lever is fully depressed. So the TPS informs the ECU if the throttle is closed. And uh, this one 
the micro switch it has to report the ECU if uh, the if uh, the throttle lever is uh, fully depressed so that uh, the the ECU can uh, uh, send the information to the EHA to uh, be in the phase of deceleration if uh, you drive downhill for example as leaner as possible. We have then uh, the O2 sensor, the Lambda probe. It has uh, to report uh, the ECU about uh, uh, the air when uh, the engine is warm actually about uh, the concentration of oxygen in exhaust, exhaust gases we have also a switch on uh, the gear lever so that uh, the ECU can know if you drive if you drive uh, forward or you drive in reverse. And we have uh, the AC compressor for those that have AC. And now two very, very important uh, sensors are the EZL that has to create uh, this uh, uh, TD signal or the RPM signal here we are so this is the EZL here as you can see and as the EZL as a sensor as it uh, processes all the data it sends them to this little part it's a TD signal if you see this if you undo this screw you won't be able to start your car if you don't believe me then you can try it yourself and there is one more that's called the uh, whole speed center that's, uh, let's say it, uh, let's uh, call it speed sensor. Now, concerning the speed sensor I was uh, telling you about, it's, as you see, this is uh, the instrument cluster and it is located behind the instrument cluster. Let me show you. There, this thing, this is uh, your speed sensor and uh, it functions the way that uh, it sends a mechanical signal from the transmission and then an electronic circuit with a whole sensor located uh, in the instrument cluster panel behind here converts it to an electronic signal. That's it.
why is uh, this uh, sensor important? It's important because the ECU knows that uh, the car runs, but it doesn't know whether the car is in motion or it uh, doesn't move. So if uh, the speed sensor is uh, not functional, then uh, you have 50% uh, of effectiveness uh, because uh, then uh, you will have 50% uh, less effectiveness, more fuel consumption, and uh, the first symptoms that you have to doubt uh, the speed sensor are, for example, that your cruise control, if you have one, uh, doesn't work, or it turns off, or your outside temperature gauge uh, doesn't show exactly, then you can doubt uh, the speed sensor. And now, yes, all of uh, these sensors send their signals uh, to the ECU. The ECU processes all of them and sends them in uh, the form of a current signal, in amps, of course. So, it affects four parts on your car. The first one is uh, the diagnostics that you have by the battery. Then you have the X11 round socket that uh, you use uh, for a duty cycle, or you can hook up uh, the oscilloscope uh, on uh, its ports and then you can see where your uh, TDC mark is located, if uh, your ignition is uh, in retard or in uh, advance and so on. Then you have the ICV. The ICV then uh, controls uh, the idle revolutions the idle RPM and we have of course the EHA yes the ECU sends uh, the EHA the needed signal the EHA then uh, makes uh, lower or higher pressure on the differential uh, valves and uh, it uh, it drives the car through those seven phases and so that would be it concerning uh, the ECU so my dear ones, if you enjoyed this video, then please don't click uh, the button skip add. It is going to help me a lot. And till the next video, happy Mercedesing. Bye.